हेलो एंड वेलकम टू अ वेरी स्पेशल एपिसोड ऑफ पॉप रैप जिसमें हम आज यूजुअल से हट के Uh, मतलब पूरी तरह कहीं से हटके नहीं थोड़ा थोड़ा सा हटके क्योंकि हम आज किताब के बारे में बात करने वाले मेरा और किताबों का रिश्ता जो है वो आ, थोड़ा रेल की पटरी जैसा है ज्यादा मिलता नहीं है पर लगता है कि मिल जाएगा कभी वी हैव विद अस विवान शाह इस पीछे ना ऐसा क्लैप्स का ऐसा साउंड इफेक्ट डाल देंगे बट मैं अभी यहाँ पे थैंक यू ही इज आउट विद हिज थर्ड बुक विच इज कॉल्ड द फॉर सेकन विल्डनेस आई स्वेयर विल्डनेस मुझे गूगल करना पड़ा था द फर्स्ट टू बुक्स वर लिविंग हेल इन टू थाउजेंड नाइनटीन एंड मिड नाइट फ्री वे इन टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी वन एंड दिस इज द थर्ड बुक द फॉर सेकन विल्डनेस इन टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी थ्री हाउ हाउ डज इट फील feels great it feels, feels great feels fantastic it it's something that i always wanted to do since i was uh, a child actually before i became an actor also yeah. that was the essential aim in life <laughs> is is either to be a historian mm-hmm. before that it was a comic book artist if you go even wow. further back in time it was probably an astronaut but that's what astronaut sab kar rahe sab log wo jo jo career counseling ke forms humko bharne padte hai na bachpan mein to sab aise ajeeb aur gareeb adventurous si cheeze dal dete the usme jaise ki nascar driver ya you know motocross madness ka stunt matlab dirt biker aur kya kya khwab dekhte the hum my 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 weirdest uh, प्रोफेशन वॉज मुझे डब्ल्यू डब्ल्यू क्या बात कर रहे हो हम लोग सब मतलब फिदा थे लेकिन किसी को बनना नहीं था मुझे मार नहीं था था किसी को आई वॉज लाइक उस टाइम ना एक डीवा थी लीटा करके एंड आई वॉज लाइक ये एज की जगह अगर मैं होता तो बात ही क्या थी बट दैट वॉज दैट बट यू आर समन जिसने एक्चुअली जो ड्रीम किया वो अचीव कर लिया uh you are now an author of three books and i'm sure many many more to come ji uh in this episode we are going to talk about a lot of stuff yes. uh this book of course we have a special giveaway also so stay tuned till the yeah. end we are going to talk about uh the movies that you were watching while you grew up yes. uh your artistic environment that you grew up in of course yes. you are here how can we not talk about nasir saab and ratna ma'am uh your bollywood journey the two smashing hits that you've given uh owning uh, 2014 uh with happy new year and uh, your theater journey also yes. thoda thoda and uh, are we ever going to see you in any of motley's play of course yes uh, yes bahut uh, shiddat se intezar hai jab <laughs> stage pe sare uh, ah. ho uh, recently i watched uh, uh, aurat 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 oh you did yeah 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 okay. i i have been a big follower of yes. motley yes. and uh, the the saddest part about uh, uh, you know watching wanting to watch motley's plays ki book my show pe aap tickets nahi milte ya yeah, ha book my show pe aap uh, alert dal nahi sakte prithvi mein jab tak phone karo wo kehte hain sir wo to big gaya matlab yeah. agar aap uh, aadhe ghante baad bhi jaage ho to big gaya log mujhe pareshan karte rehte hain tickets ke liye ab se main bhi karunga agar main chahun to main i can also become jaise pehle gt galaxy ke zamano mein wo black ko tarah 50 ka do 50 ka do chal 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 770 ka ticket 1770 ka ticket like i can be like amir khan in rangila na jo baar wo gt galaxy wale chalo 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 regal ke samne bol raha hai chal 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 kiske sleeves ke piche thoda sa ticket chupa ke to prithvi mein wo ban sakta hu prithvi exactly all of this content and a lot more uh waiting for you guys after this short break hi this is cyrus rogan brocha pyar se rogs uh i've come up with him brand new idea it's a premium product called club cyrus says it's an offer open just for you let me tell you about the product we've got exclusive cock and bull episodes just for you that's right just for you that means others don't get to see it also you get exclusive footage extra bits the uncut version of the interviews with celebrities and these are huge celebrities not small time celebrities only the big guys come on the show so you'll get the exclusive bits that nobody else gets the extra tidbits special stuff uncensored stuff stuff you don't want to put out That's just for you, and for our audio listeners, you get special ad-free content and early access to interviews and sessions and the podcast, which nobody else will get. You'll get it first. You're the first people. You're Neil Armstrong, you're Edmund Hillary, you're whoever discovered India. You're that, and by becoming an exclusive member of Club Cyrus, says you get the power. We transfer the power to you, and you become the producers, and you will decide what content or what happens on that show. You are the masters. and we are your we can't use words like that people who work for the masters basically so guys get in
special audio features include uh, I forget I can't remember what the <laughs> Welcome back uh, to the meat of the episode now we'll start with the book Firstly, the book and then all the Bollywood theater acting <laughs> stuff. The Forsaken Wilderness. Yes. थोड़ा 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 बता दो book के बारे में. ये एक adventure science fiction horror novel है, which is about a journey to a mountain mm-hmm. just that nobody has ever climbed. No mountaineering party has been able to climb oh. it. Oh. मतलब बातचीत होती रहती है. There's been Ha-ha. rumors कि maybe sadhus mm-hmm. or ascetics. जो अघोरी बाबा टाइप के लोग हैं उनने शायद चढ़ा होगा इस माउंटेन को जो विदाउट द एड ऑफ द एडवांस इक्विपमेंट एडवांस इक्विपमेंट दैट अ माउंटेन यूरिंग पार्टी हैज you know mm-hmm. I, I, in their aid to help them climb the mountain so that's the whole sort of uh, interesting paradox in a way is that how is it that oh. people the bare feet of sadhus the ha, bare ha, feet ha. of ascetics ascetics have have managed to to uh, master this accomplishment which people with the most advanced equipment and cordage at their disposal have not been able have to manage have not been able to do yeah it. so that's that there's a sort wow. of mysticism about that and there's also a mystery about that but beyond that it is really it comes from the tradition of all i suppose uh, science fiction stories mm-hmm, you know mm-hmm. where there is some kind of you know whether it's uh, you can go back to 2001 a space odyssey yeah, yeah. you know the works of, of various uh, weird fiction jise kehte hain mm-hmm. writers jisme hamesha aisa hota tha ki uh, for instance ek chhota sa uh, ek pre- premise aapko bata deta hu ki ek farm hota hai mm-hmm. wahan pe ek comet land ho gaya aur uske ala- uske around jitne bhi fruits aur vegetables ho gaye i mean that's a famous story color out of space mm-hmm. by hp mm-hmm. lovecraft but that's very indicative of the sort of tropes of the genre yeah. is that there's some relic or some discovery which mankind finds and is not able to make sense of because it does not look like it's the product of mankind it looks ha. like it's the product of an alien extra uh, sort of extra terrestrial terrestrial te- extra terrestrial intelligence mm-hmm. it looks like the product of something which could either be uh, uh, going back into antiquity like the pyramids mm-hmm. or the stone henge yeah. jo aapko pata nahi kab bane kab the bane, aur kisne banaya tha or it can also be something that is so technologically advanced that it eludes uh, our own comprehension mm-hmm. so that starts the mystery of and this mountain is such a place Wow. these uh, three uh, protagonists i uh-huh. uh, the there is a protagonist but i would say that the other two co-expeditioners are also protagonists of a sort mm-hmm, mm-hmm. but let's just say our narrator yeah. the uh, civil engineer decides to venture up mm-hmm. following a mountaineer and a guide who uh-huh. are quite experienced with the area uh-huh. he, they uh, he, they are both doing it to because it's been prescribed to them by a local jyotish Okay. वो ज्योतिष ने बोल दिया उनको कि आपका कुछ भी नहीं चल रहा है आप अगर मानसरोवर में जाके डुबकी लगाओगे या वैष्णो देवी हाँ। जाओगे या हिमकुंड साहब जाओगे या कहीं पे भी गंगोत्री जाओगे तो आपका कुछ नहीं वर्क करेगा अगर आपको कुछ एक चीज वर्क करेगा ये है, वो है यहां जा, जो कोई भी व्यक्ति आज तक इसे मतलब अचीव नहीं कर पाया चढ़ नहीं पाया तो इफ यू डू दिस देन इट विल है सॉर्ट ऑफ अ क्लेंजिंग इफेक्ट ऑन योर ओन सोल Mm-hmm. and on your own life it can lead to the reformation of your life and this is so hence the book deals with superstition versus science in a way that is one of the main central themes wow. of of the book bro mai big gaya ha mai mai big gaya uh jo give away hone wala hai uh wo mai hi rakhne wala hu but uh, like coincidentally yesterday uh, or i guess day before yesterday i was reading about mount kailasha yes and i was uh, that's forbidden no one's allowed to climb yeah, that yeah no one's ab- uh, allowed allowed to climb that and i think jab aap mujhe ye story bata rahe the mere mind mein constantly mount uh, uh, kailasha ka image chal raha tha mm. like i was reading ab uh, again i was reading on the internet so yes. uh, क्या सच है क्या मिथ है yes, क्या है वो स्पेकुलेशन है हाँ. वो वो लाइन ड्रॉ हुई ही नहीं है पता ही नहीं है क्या है बट आई वाज रीडिंग थिंग्स लाइक कि वहाँ पे जितने भी लोगों ने चढ़ने का ट्राई किया है या तो वापस नहीं, नहीं आ पाए हैं या तो वो वापस इस स्टेट में आए कि वो बता नहीं बता पाए नहीं कि क्या कि क्या हुआ है वहाँ exactly, exactly. क्या बीता है उन पर या एंड देन देर हैव बीन रिपोर्टिंग्स की वहाँ पे ओम के चैंट्स रैंडमली सुनाई देते हैं एंड देर हैव बीन पॉइंट्स वाओ आई एज आई से दिस मेरे को घूस बम सारे बट ऑल्सो आई हैव बीन बिग ऑन मैथोलॉजी ऑन ऑन हिंदू मैथोलॉजी बिकॉज आई ऑलवेज लिव्ड विद माय ग्रैंड पेरेंट्स ओके मैं लाइक सिंस द एज ऑफ टेन आई शिफ्टेड टू माय नानी नानोज हाउस तो मैं जितनी भी लोग यू नो बड़े होते हुए कहानियाँ सुनते हैं ग्रैंड पेरेंट्स से मैंने सारी मोस्टली हमारी हिंदू माइथोलॉजी की सुनी है तो मुझे इन सब चीज़ों में ना इंटरेस्ट बहुत आता है क्योंकि एक दिमाग जो है वो पहले रीज़न करने का सोचता है कि यार इसमें रीज़न है एंड देन 
you know where there is mythology reason and logic takes a back seat yes faith 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 hai wo wo faith ki baat aa jati hai now i am so big on that but there is also this a uh, questioning mind of a human where i'm like bro par ye but logical ye, kaise hai that's a very good point bhai that's exactly and that's exactly you hit the nail right on the head because that's exactly what the book is about yeah. that question that you yeah. just had mm-hmm. right now mm-hmm. is that although you want to surrender to the mystery yeah. and to the faith of it but there's the logical mind which is still questioning yeah. which is still pursuing reason exactly and i think that is uh, not just in the book but wo hamara day to day struggle hai. Hai. wo life hai bhai wo life exactly kyunki hum log see kehte hain ki भगवान ने इंसान को दिमाग सोचने वाला इसलिए दे ताकि वो सवाल कर सके करेक्ट ठीक है और हम लोग जब फेथ की बात करते हैं तो कहीं ना कहीं हम लोग कुछ चीजों और प्लॉट्स पे वो सवाल नहीं करते क्योंकि पर हमें पता होता है बैक ऑफ माइंड पे कि ये सवाल है बट हम लोग वो करते नहीं एंड आई थिंक इफ दिस बुक्स डील्स एंड डेल्स इन ऑल दीज क्वेश्चन और वो इफ नॉट नॉट इवन क्वेश्चन अगर हमें आंसर नहीं भी मिलते और अगर वो क्वेश्चन एक बड़ा क्वेश्चन मिल जाता है आई थिंक इट्स a superb superb read Thanks, uh, i you. i am sold on the plot uh <laughs> ye वैसे तो साइन करके मैं आपको दिलवाने वाला था बट फन फैक्ट नहीं मिलने वाला है मिलेगा 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 स्टे 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 अह अच्छा दिस इज योर थर्ड बुक वुड यू वांट टू आल्सो टॉक अबाउट योर फर्स्ट एंड द सेकंड बुक एब्सोल्युटली प्लीज प्लीज इनफैक्ट वो दे आर दोस वुड प्रोबब्ली बी you know like for instance they're closer to the reality of the viewer because mm-hmm. those first two books uh, especially the viewers of viola from bombay <laughs> those both those books are about bombay and oh. they're both about the streets of bombay and they're about the underbelly of bombay they're about the oh. bombay underworld you know they are they come from a tradition of hard boiled pulp fiction and mm. they're both the first book is about bhaigiri the first okay. book ka jo protagonist yeah, hai living uska, hell living clearly hell. <laughs> uska naam uh, jo protagonist hai the first is almost like a detective novel and uska jo oh. detective hai wo ek police khabri hai उसका नाम है नदीम चिपकली और नदीम चिपकली हाँ क्योंकि वहां पे वो वो क्या बोलते हैं मोनिकर्स होते हैं ना तो उसमें ढेर सारे ऐसे कैरेक्टर्स हैं जैसे इरशाद बटला दो भाई है नावेद पतला नावेद पतला और लंबा अदनान दो भाई है वैसे एहसान खुजली ऐसे ऐसे नाम होते रहते हैं जो असलियत में होते हैं भाई लोग बिल्कुल होते करेक्ट जो जो मोनिकर्स जो टपोरी लोग भाई लोग तो वो वो दुनिया में मैं एकदम ही डूब गया और उसमें मैं हमेशा से फैसिनेटेड था और उसे उसकी एक इच्छा थी उसे एक्सप्लोर करने की एक ऑथेंटिक और यूनिक तरीके में तो लिविंग हेल्प में वो कर पाया एक डिटेक्टिव नॉवल के दौरान उस उस रूप में आई वाज एबल टू एक्सप्लोर द सब कल्चर ऑफ बम्बैया भाईगिरी ऑफ द ऑफ द मिया भाई अंडरवर्ल्ड डिड यू मीट एनी लाइक पीपल फ्रॉम दी आई हैव मेट बट बट दैट्स लाइक फॉर इंस्टेंस ओके लेट मी एक्सप्लेन इट यू द द सब कल्चर ऑफ भाईगिरी इन बॉम्बे स्पेशली इफ यू आर फ्रॉम बॉम्बे इट इज समथिंग दैट यू ग्रोन अप Oh, it's not key doesn't yeah. mean that you have to have met a daud ibrahim to understand oh. what that ha, world ha, ha, is ha, 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 you can ha, ha. see it on the street corner yeah. aapke street corner pe jo tapori kaisa baat karta hai na wo aap agar dekhoge to you will be able to understand that culture and all of us have friends who have hmm. some distant links to that world links to that world and we yeah. may have met a friend of theirs who's actually from that world and i have yeah. but ah. uh, uh, but the fact is that that world was very essential to bandra in the 90s and when mm-hmm. i was growing mm-hmm. up and i hung around mm-hmm. with a lot of those kind of characters those who were my friend circle those are the people we played cricket with yeah. those are the people we used to drive around go cruising with you know time pass karte the uh, masti you know uh, that kind of thing so that was very much the ethos of my uh, youth yeah. in a sense and that's that that culture was a, it was a portrait of that culture the first book the second novel jo hai mm-hmm. midnight freeway mm-hmm. wo itna wo wo jo uh, mia bhai world ko ex- itna explore nahi karta hai wo ek sindhi noir hai ah. wo ek ek noir hai jo sindhi world mein set hai ah. jo basically ah. jo sindhi businessman jo mm-hmm. apne B- 5 series aur uh, mercedes mein jo aate hain aur jo you know jo suits aur wo check shirts correct correct wo uh, rado ke watches yeah, jo yeah, pehnte yeah, yeah. hain वो एलिगेटर टाइप शूज पहनते हैं और जो मतलब दोज आर लाइक that that's the that's the world that i was trying to explore in the in mm-hmm. the second book is the white collar criminals yeah, yeah. you know the slightly businessman the guys who in their synthetic rayon full sleeved office going yeah, shirts jo ekdam bhai ke liye tarah baat karte hain matlab wo dikhte hain ekdam like upar ke teen button ko dikhte hain exactly 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 so and i've grown up with those kinds of people i'm yeah. fascinated with mm-hmm. see this is hard boiled uh, bombaya yeah. landscape that yeah. that one is talking about right and that has always been a subject of great uh, well personal fa- uh, import significance in my life because i've hung out and grown up around that kind mm-hmm. of ethos but i've also wanted to rep- depict it in uh, in art 
in 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 novels in literature yeah. so that was my essential aim and also uh, the thing with the first two novels the reason why this is a departure ye ek hard cover hai jaise aap dekh rahe hain to ye mere liye ek ek bahut aise aap tarakki bhi keh sakte ho ki this is almost the difference between uh, i would say like probably uh, illust like you, you watercolors and oil paints ah. you know alag alag canvases hai mm-hmm. so almost like 16 without sounding too grandiose about it but <laughs> difference between 16 mm and 70 mm ah, almost ah. like that right yeah. uh, this thing uh, but so this uh, and also that doesn't just reflect on the fact that it's a hard cover and those are pulps mm-hmm. it's also in the style of the prose the writing yeah. just uh, par aapne zikr ki ki this is a slightly more literary tenor yeah, yeah, the tone yeah. the mm-hmm. sort of register of the prose is, is different yeah. in that it was more hard boiled colloquial vernacular english the way mm-hmm. the crime slang and also what i was trying to do is i was trying to harken back to the tradition of hard boiled pulp fiction jaise america mein ha. jo classic image hai noir ka jo hats aur tony ha, guns aur you know ha, ha, ha. trench coats aur cigarette yeah. bogart aisa khada exactly. hai alleyway mein shadows mm-hmm. mein wo type ka jo aesthetic hai ya apne apne country mein we also have an equivalent a uh, tradition of hard boiled pulp paperbacks with surendra mohan pathak mm-hmm. ved prakash mm-hmm. uh, titles like with books with titles like 65 lakh ki dakati aise aise hote the you know uh, surendra mohan pathak especially aur ye jo kitabe the these used to be sold at railway stations mm. these were pa- paperbacks these were not considered high literature, high literature and they yeah. also the, the reason you know i'll tell you an interesting thing you know the etymology of the term pulp हम्म हम्म पल्प फिक्शन क्यों बोला जाता है क्योंकि जो क्वालिटी ऑफ पेपर था पल्प बुक्स में वो थोड़ा सा कम क्वालिटी पेपर था उसे पल्प कहा जाता था दैट वाज पल्प पेपर सो दैट यू कुड द काइंड ऑफ बुक दैट यू कुड ऑन योर वे टू वर्क ट्रेन में आप फोल्ड करके ऐसे फोल्ड करके जेब में डाल में डाल सकते हो कुछ फर्क नहीं पड़ेगा आल्सो इज द काइंड ऑफ डिसरेप्यूटेबल लिटरेचर यू डोंट बी कॉट रीडिंग हम्म ओ वो भी है ओ दैट्स दैट्स अनदर थिंग आल्सो सो दैट्स इट वाज अ वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग थिंग दिस ट्रेडिशन ऑफ पल्प सो द फर्स्ट टू नॉवेल्स वर फ्रॉम दैट ट्रेडिशन द थर्ड नॉवेल इज फ्रॉम द स्लाइड slightly more literary but also see i say this a lot that you know this this book is a literary novel but it the pulp flows in its veins ha wo aisa undercurrent mein aapko milta rahega wo pulp novel ka jo maza hai wo bhi aapko milega aur ek literary experience bhi hai ha hopefully uh, it will be meaningful in that way for the for the reader mm-hmm. that it is a literary experience that you can hopefully flow with the rhythms and the the, the cadences of the prose and go yeah. on that voyage that literary voyage ग्रेट यार ग्रेट द अमाउंट ऑफ नॉलेज ब्रो राइटिंग शुरू कैसे हुआ आपका लाइक like, ये इतना नॉलेज आपने जो मुझे बताया है अभी आ, ये इसके काफी सारे शब्द हैं जो मुझे पॉज कर करके गूगल करने पड़ेंगे बट द थिंग इज हाउ यू गॉड इन टू राइटिंग लाइक यू नो ऑल ऑफ दी जॉनराज जो हैं आपने डिफरेंट डिफरेंट जॉनराज को केटर किया है एंड देन यू नो आपका एक एक सब एक वो भी है जो आ, तीनों नॉवेल्स में आपको एक कनेक्टिंग थ्रेड भी दिखेगा पर फिर भी वो अलग हैं अपने अपने में बिल्कुल वो हाउ यू गॉड इनटू राइटिंग एक्चुअली मतलब आपने कब सोचा कि हाँ ये राइटिंग मैं कर सकता हूँ और की और एक्चुअली वो इतनी खूबसूरत तरीके से निकल के आएगी थैंक यू फॉर दैट फर्स्टली एंड सेकेंड बट द थिंग इज आई थिंक बचपन से एक आर्टिस्टिक टेम्परमेंट uh, और एक आर्टिस्टिक सफर uh, हमेशा से रहा है वो खोज ऑलवेज बिन डीप seated part of one's life it's mm-hmm. it's a and it's also a preoccupation that's something that i do in my spare time since i was a kid to pehle to drawing hua karta tha uske baad writing bana jab mere drawing skills itne improve nahi hue ha 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 to but but the reason let me tell you is very interesting why i settled on the medium of literature mm-hmm. because before that i was primarily primarily a playwright and i used to write plays before oh, that yeah what 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 play have you written i've written many plays i've written a play we called uh, which is basically a, which is a play in bombaya hindi also okay yeah it's it's called fukatia and it's about a bunch of friends who owe each other money basically nice. fukatia fukatia you know what it means yeah, right? yeah, yeah, kabhi mufti mufti yeah, 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 so, uske baad usne paise hote nahi hote so that's a play about being in debt and it's a play about debt collectors and it's interesting how some of that actually went into living hell <laughs> 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 in a funny way so that i'd written then i'd written uh, uh, this thing quite a few plays you know like uh, I had I had I'd also uh, written I have written a play which I really want to do is a, uh, an adaptation of The Island of Dr Moru by H G Wells mm-hmm. so wo bhi uh, but that I wrote much later also Th- I wrote many plays before that ha, ha, ha. Uh, but then after that uh, in about 2014 mm-hmm. I uh, I was my various writings whether it's in the play form or the screen play form i was trying to get them to materialize mm-hmm. and i was having a hard time getting them to materialize mm-hmm. for whatever reasons and that's when i realized that the medium of theater and the medium of the cinema is a medium which is resource centric uh-huh. it's a medium where a you need other people's time 
ஜிக்கல் whether there's just the simple forces of fate murphy's yeah. law can you know yeah. fuck up your sorry are we allowed to use that word ha, ha. yeah murphy's Lindas. law can screw up uh, the best laid plans of mice and men literally mm-hmm. right mm-hmm. anything can that's the randomness of faith yeah. or oh, fate, fate 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 we were talking about <laughs> faith earlier but fate can be equally deceptive yeah. right yeah. so uh, what i decided at the age of 25 and it's so funny i vividly remember this me and my brother were talking and we were just kind of sort of i guess uh, commiserating and lamenting about the fact that you know it's, this is it's difficult to do this and trying to get that off the ground and then finally my brother said that you know what you should just try and uh, you should try to make some of your work into a purely prose experience huh. so then you won't be dependent on all these forces that you're just talking yeah, about yeah, right yeah. then you don't have anything which interferes with you and the realization of your work the huh. materialization of it and that went off like a light bulb in my head and 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 that i swear to god since then this was at the mm-hmm. age of 24 and now i'm 33 mm-hmm. so last 7 years of my life i found this medium mm-hmm. i f- i settled on it and i decided this is what i'm going to do this is what i'm going to do this is the medium for me prose literature yeah all i need is a pen and a piece of paper I don't need wow. anybody else's time and I don't need anybody else's money to make my work materialize. I'm in command of the tools of production, the means of production mm-hmm. and the tools of production. I'm not in control of the means of distribution. For that I still need to sell it yeah, to yeah, a yeah. multinational co- uh, corporation, mm-hmm. right? Yeah, yeah. To a mm-hmm. company. But just to make the work materialize. Ha. That I'm in control. Wo sara mera. Wo I find that very liberating for someone who comes from the world of theater and from the world of yeah. film where you have so many examples before you of unrealized dreams. Mm-hmm. You know? I'm telling you uh, my entire life is 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 littered with examples of my elders elder siblings friends 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 you know uh-huh. uh, people uh, who who tried to sort of realize that magnum opus that masterpiece that they had mm. been working on and that mm-hmm. never happened ha. for whatever reason ha, ha, ha. I was very uh, determined to not let that happen you know that mm. and to make sure that, and i the liter- the medium of literature really saved me in that sense that i found uh, this this out this outlet Yeah. Of, of this medium in which mm-hmm. uh, in in uh, which to sort of make my work happen in which to make the work materialize yaar so 24 that, and, saal ki umar mein aapko realization ho gaya 24 saal ki umar mein realization ho gaya kai saalon uh, after many years of you know trying to yeah. get plays off and also films off the ground and and uh, but yeah so since and i'd i'd like to say this to the younger uh, audience also is that it's important that you select an art form or a medium which is a practical and doable and which is something that is realistic it's hmm. not some pipe dream ki main ja kar ye itna bada taj mahal banane wala hu ki main ye bridge construct karne wala hu ki main ye itna bada ek engineering uh, feat ko accomplish karne wala hu try and think of something which you can do on your own yeah where you are in control of the means of production where you don't need to depend on these external forces yeah. hmm. and hence in, in that form you can sort of uh i suppose uh, be in control of your destiny as you know high falutin as that sounds i hope i hope that's that's the essential aim is that one can uh, one can see their work materialize and can make it happen and you can i d- i've derived a great deal of meaning for that and i think so can you if you try to do that if you try to find a medium that you really love that you're interested in that you want to do and that is doable that is not ah. something which is a pipe dream that you need to you know that someone else needs to come and make your dreams come true you know that's what i'm saying ha to bacha log ye jo bola gaya hai yahi hai sar is episode ka also you know like a lot of habit coaches uh, also by the way shout out to habit coach uh, listen to the uh, podcast rr uh, network but a lot of habit coaches tell uh, their audiences ki प्रैक्टिकल गोल्स सेट करना इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट लाइक अगर तुम कोई भी रैंडम गोल सेट कर देते हो कि यार इन जनवरी और थिंकिंग कि ओ मार्च में मेरे सिक्स पैक एप्स होंगे इट इज नॉट तुम यू विल जस्ट बी बीटिंग योर सेल्फ अप विदाउट रियलाइजिंग कि तुम्हारा जो गोल है वो प्रैक्टिकल है ही नहीं विदाउट प्लेइंग एन आई पी एल और विदाउट प्लेइंग अ फर्स्ट क्लास क्रिकेट तुम सीधा नेशनल टीम के सपने देखो नॉट सिंग नहीं होता है बट अगेन यू नो यू नीड टू टेक practicality into account and i think that's a very uh, good message that we've tried to that you've tried to 
uh, get across to our audiences that and I think in a way मुझे भी ये जो आपने बोला है ये कहीं ना कहीं मैं भी अपने माइंड में रजिस्टर कर रहा हूँ बिकॉज इट्स बिन अ वाइल दैट आई बिन थिंकिंग ऑफ स्टार्टिंग समथिंग ऑफ माई ओन आई नो आई हैव द रिसोर्स बिकॉज वॉट एम ट्राइंग टू स्टार्ट इज ऑन माई सोशल मीडिया आई जस्ट रिक्वायर अ फोन एंड वन एप दैट योर पेन या सो आई ऑल आई वॉन्ट टू डू इज ऑल आई हैव टू डू इज जस्ट लाइक प्रेस द रिकॉर्ड बट इंटरेस्टिंग एंड आई हैव जस्ट बिन प्रोकेस्टिनेटिंग एंड थिंकिंग कि यू नो अगर मेरे पास एक प्रॉपर एडिटर होता तो मैं शायद बेटर तरीके से कर पाता अगर मेरे पास प्रॉपर डिजाइनर होता तो मैं कर पाता बट ऑनेस्टली आई नो इफ आई पुट माई माइंड टू इट एंड एंड इफ आई पुट लाइक एन आर और टू मे बी इन टू दैट प्रोडक्शन वो मेरे ऐप पे हो जाएगा ओके नहीं तो मेरे लैपटॉप पे हो जाएगा करेक्ट एंड Yeah, it's 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 a great uh, message to start this episode. Uh, actually, start. Yeah, we are already like half an hour in the episode. You uh, know the the great uh, uh, filmmaker uh, John Luke Godard who mm-hmm. passed away last year. Mm-hmm. He, it was his dream that the camera becomes close to the pen or the paintbrush, yeah. which yeah. at that time was not happening. Sixties. Me, boy, if you have a picture, you need to have a lot of resources and resources. Yeah. Uh, mm-hmm. Now you can actually do it. Do that. It's close yes. to a pen, and and in that sense, every art form for painting, you need a canvas and an easel for yeah. sculpture. You need a mound of clay for dance. You need a space for music. You need either uh, instruments or electronics mm. depending on uh, what persuasion or what musical persuasion you emerge from and for the me- but and for every uh, for for theater also there's other resources that you need but much less than film the thing with film and and mediums like that is that uh, the resource itself comprises of a lot of machinery yeah and a lot of uh, uh, just basically physical logistical mm-hmm. resources and questions logistical True. dimensions you know to yeah. it so so hence i would say that it's it's very liberating when you find a medium that mm. is truly doable and and uh, that, that's and that's interesting that you the way you were mentioning sorry the way you were mentioning it right now is that a lot of young people for them the phone is in a sense the pain brush exactly it is in a sense i mean it's also crazy like because you know now uh, In fact, it's it's interesting that though the the phone has has uh, acquired a new meaning in contemporary mm. life, mm-hmm. the phone in a way it's like you know, जब gold rush हुआ था nineteen twenties में अमेरिका में तो सब लोग Yukon, Alaska और Mexico में जाते थे एक pickaxe और shovel के साथ अपना fame और fortune खोजने के लिए खोजने के लिए the phone has become the equivalent of, of the pickaxe and yeah. shovel mm-hmm. is where people are flocking to the gold rush and trying to seek their fame and fortune and and more power to that man that's a great yeah. thing because i think it's it's made things more democratic it's you, you are in control of you yes jaise kehte na you do you man you do you uh with that message hum log thoda sa aisa hatte hain kitabon se aur thoda sa aate hain bollywood mein bilkul jahan pe shayad main thoda aur zyada bol paunga kyunki kitabon mein to thoda short hand chal raha hai but एनीवे व्हाट वर द फिल्म्स दैट यू वर वाचिंग वाइल यू वर ग्रोइंग अप ग्रेट क्वेश्चन क्या क्या गो ऑन अबाउट दैट फॉर आज चलेगा हम लोग ने टाइम लिमिट हटा दिया है पॉपर से आज के लिए ओ मैन आई आई लिटरली आई चेरिश द द एरा दैट आई ग्रो अप इन यू नो द 90s बिकॉज़ ए वी वुड गो फॉर स्टफ टू गेटी गैलेक्सी माय माय नानी वुड टेक मी because my parents uh, were not fans of the bollywood movies that were coming out so my but my, my nani used to like to go and watch every bollywood mm-hmm. movie that was coming out whether mm-hmm. it was good or not so <laughs> we used to go out for all kinds of weird crazy lurid cheesy movies with ha. her and uh, we lived through a very interesting era of bollywood in the 90s when i was a kid and also later on in the early 2000s which was like the golden age of cheesy movies yeah, you you were experiencing and witnessing uh, govinda era govinda, unfold well, in front what, of you right in, yes and but govinda era actually starts way before that govinda era starts in the 90s 80s before i was born mm-hmm. acha yeah so this was the sort of uh, yes this was you could say is the second movement like how beethoven's second movement is <laughs> like govinda's second <laughs> symphony was happening yeah dhul dhul hai raja and raja babu yeah but i prefer the 80s govinda movies to the 90s govinda mm-hmm. films yeah. oh, what's what's your favorite govinda film uh, Daria Dil. Oh. Daria Dil is a fascinating, and the real auteur behind mm. that film is Kadir Saab. And by the way, Govinda Kadir himself Saab. has said that. Yeah. In an interview, he said that the true hero of that film was mm. Kadir Saab. Kadir Saab. And mm. Govinda was just starting out. He was a supporting actor at that yeah. time, and he said the lead, the real, the the star and the hero mm-hmm. and the author of that yeah. was Kadir Saab. Also wrote screenplays, and yeah. Kadir Saab, by the way, he used to write hundred screenplays in a year. In He's a year, in my yes. opinion the greatest screenwriter that Bollywood cinema has ever produced. Ever produced. That's yeah. my opinion, and I feel that he was an extraordinarily there was. He was Manto esque, you know. His 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 work was like there was 
there was a poetry of the footpath of the streets of bombay yeah. he got and uh, coupled with also an immense urdu erudition hmm. so think about hmm. the two hmm. poles at which he operated he could also work in this very uh, sophisticated urdu realm yeah. which is a very rarefied kind of area and also he could do that what you're talking about the street corner yeah. uh, the bombaya ha, ha, ha. Uh, the language of the vernacular of the streets the poetry of the street jis tarike se wo dono ends ko marry karte the exactly wo itna khoobsurat product nikal ke aata tha us cheez se product, yeah. uh, right. and he wrote all those films so many of those films the, the amitabh bachchan films of the 70s the govinda yeah. films of the 80s uh, the jitendra films so, i mean they are countless if you go to his countless, imdb yeah, you see countless. his you spend days on his yeah. imdb profile there's just so many films and and he was true Truly, the greatest wit you know, yeah, that we have ever had. I swear, the yes. greatest and also humanity of Kader Khan. You know, Darya Dil. It's a very interesting film. It's a film about a father who has three children, mm-hmm. sons. Govinda is the good son. The yeah. other two are a little spoiled. They wake mm-hmm. up late. They land up late for work, yeah. and they always after the father's money. and they mm. constantly after the father's money and the whole thing is that it's almost like a spin on the uh, charles dickens's christmas carol ha, ha, of the, ha. the 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 miser the miser scrooge you know so and and it's it's an inversion of that mm-hmm. because uh, what happens is that the film ends up condemning the spoiled son ha, ha, who's demanding ha. his father's money ha, ha, and kadar saab is basically he's trying to instill in them values mm. of mm-hmm. how to respect money of mm-hmm. how to be respectful of your economic uh, conduct yeah. right and and those kids are spoiled fucking brats govinda yeah. is the good son <laughs> <laughs> and 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 like so him and govinda have this like nice uh, yeah. relationship but the other two kids he's constantly like yelling yeah, at them and whatnot. Yeah, yeah. and so there's this insane scene where the sons keep telling him that you know uh, you keep you keep you keep hoard up all your wealth <laughs> and you don't <laughs> share it with us you don't mm-hmm. give us any of your money mm-hmm. you keep it locked up behind lock and key show me what there is and then mm-hmm. finally kadar saab tells them you want to see what there is you want to see what there is behind that lock and key in that chori come with me come with me and he opens up that thing and there's a kolhadi out there kolhadi yeah. and he says that i was a laborer Ha. and he said that this is how i earned my ye, ye roots hai ye roots hai yeah. this is how i earned the wealth that you're talking about and mm. that you're after and you know this is what uh, it's a very moving scene it's a, it's a, it's extraordinarily moving and and there's i mean that's the thing is that the humanity of of kadar saab's writing you know the the there was there was a great empathy for mm. the downtrodden yeah in in his films there was a great empathy for the underprivileged mm-hmm. for uh, for people that were marginalized in society yeah. if you look at the the amitabh bachchan protagonists of those films they were all coolies they were yeah. all working class working characters, characters. mazdoor the proletariat you know i don't know what it is but somewhere in the 1980s or 90s the bollywood hero started stepping out of a fucking mercedes mm. that's bullshit okay the actual bollywood hero was a working class person yeah. and that's what uh, the public identified with and that was what was empowering about mm-hmm. it i don't know when but later along the bollywood hero became a spoiled brat Who's yeah. stepping out of a fucking Ferrari? Yeah, okay. Yeah, like yeah. Th- I hope that we go back to those back routes. to those days. Exactly. Where exactly. we are reality. Reality. Thora separate. touch me or exactly, exactly. Exactly. Ah, but but like with OTT, this is it's slightly coming back. Hundred percent. It is coming back. You 100%. know, uh, projects like Farzi. Absolutely. And, yeah. Like to for, like kudos to Shahid Kapoor for actually like you know. picking up a project like this jahan pe he is not coming out of a fucking mercedes exactly. he is not doing what a wa 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 a bullet because correct, 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 like correct. we are not relating to that correct, in, in, correct, in, in, correct. in a in a in a way but uh, and yeah. because cinema is the working uh, man's uh, working person's working class person's art form yeah. it's not the opera where you need to spend exactly. a lot of money to go and it's for ha, the rich aristocratic ha, ha, people ha, ha. you know jazz nahi hai hum log hum log देखने जा रहे हैं गोविंदा हालांकि फिफ्टीज में जैज भी था जैज भी था <laughs> चॉकलेट के टाइम में बट हम लोग वो देखने जा रहे हैं यू you नो know, कि राजेश खन्ना yeah. साहब ने अपनी कलर्ड शर्ट के ऊपर बेल्ट पहना हुआ है और वो ट्रेंड बन गया फॉर सम वर्ड रीजन Uh, Before but, we move on from Kadir Saab, one last a little uh, yes. bit which I, which uh, which is a great little bit of uh, political humor from one of his films. There's a mm-hmm. scene where he's playing this mantri's aide, mm-hmm. like he's playing the right hand man of a mantri, and this person comes to basically tells him that Saab, uh, mantri Saab, के साथ एक appointment चाहिए. हाँ हाँ हाँ. Please, आप uh, fix कर दो कि बोले नहीं नहीं मंत मंत्री Saab बहुत busy है किसी को नहीं मिल सकते. हाँ. तो बोलता है please Saab बहुत जरूरी काम है बहुत urgent है. तो वो बोलता है ठीक है तो इस तरह से hinting to him कि कितना वो थोड़ा सा you know चाय पानी देना पड़ेगा. तो वो उसको बोलता है कि पहले तुम्हारे पास एक करोड़ रुपया है हाँ. तो गाइस हैज़ नहीं साहब एक करोड़ रुपया कहाँ है सो एक लाख रुपया है सो इस नहीं एक लाख रुपया कहाँ है मेरे पास इसे दस हज़ार रुपया है सो इस नहीं साहब बहुत गरीब आदमी हूँ मैं गाड़ी चलाता हूँ कितना दस हज़ार रुपया लाऊंगा तो इस एक हज़ार रुपया है सो नहीं एक हज़ार रुपया दस रुपया है सो इस नहीं सर कितना है तेरे पास सो इस साहब एक रुपया है मेरे पास सो कादर खान लुक से दर वन रुपये की रिश्वत 
इसे तो ईमानदारी भी अच्छी है <laughs> लेक्चर तो शर्म नहीं आती तो एक सरकारी अफसर को रिश्वत देने की कोशिश कर रहे हो चलो निकल यहाँ से <laughs> उर्दू भी लिख रहा था कॉमेडी भी लिख रहा था बम्बैया भी लिख रहा था सीरियस रोल भी कर रहा था स्क्रीन प्ले भी लिख रहा था गोविंदा के साथ जो कॉमिक टाइमिंग थी उस इंसान की उससे उस उस डुओ uh, से बेटर डुओ आई डोंट थिंक वीव सीन इन कॉमेडी आज तक इन बॉलीवुड एंड आई डोंट थिंक वी विल एवर सी जो कमराडरी उन दोनों exactly, की थी इन द काउंटलेस फिल्म दैट देव डन टूगेदर इफ यू इफ यू हैव टू लाइक इन नो क्रोनोलॉजिकल ऑर्डर नहीं या मतलब कोई इन नो रैंकिंग टॉप थ्री फिल्म दैट यू वर वेरी वेरी फॉर्म ऑफ वैल यू वर fond of while yeah, you were growing while up. i was growing up yeah b- b- they would b- be my father's film so would you like me to say uh, my father's films or other than my Kuch father's kuch bhi chale matlab because your father's films to ek ke baad ek hi jo kamal yeah, ki picture yeah. hai uh, the other day i was watching uh, makbul oh man that's a masterpiece that. masterpiece so the that greatest film ever made yeah yeah, yeah one, i i absolutely. i am surprised like a lot of people haven't watched makbul and i'm like guys you are yeah. missing out yeah. you like उस फिल्म That की film कास्ट is... से बेहतर oh. कास्ट किसी फिल्म में हो ही नहीं सकती लाइक यू नो विशाल भारद्वाज थॉट कि ओ दैट्स द ग्रेटेस्ट इस, इस कंट्री में कौन सबसे बढ़िया बढ़िया एक्टर्स हैं सबको ले करेक्ट एंड दे किल्ड इट विद द फिल्म लाइक आई आई वाज टॉकिंग टू माय मॉम एंड यू वाचिंग द फिल्म एंड शी इज लाइक मुझे इतनी समझ में नहीं आ रही हम लाइक देखो देखो ठीक है यू नो दिस इज नॉट अ फिल्म दैट यू आर वॉचिंग एंड देन गोइंग टू द किचन एंड देन कमिंग बैक एंड देन वॉचिंग एंड देन हिपनोटिक लाइक द वे जो नसीर साहब और ओमपुरी साहब का जो कैरेक्टर्स हैं दोनों जो दो वो पुलिस वाले कैरेक्टर्स इन मैकपेत क्या कैरेक्टर्स हैं कितनी खूबसूरती से उनको इंडियनाइज किया गया है और और वो वो मोमेंट्स जहाँ पे नसीर साहब ओमपुरी साहब को देखते हैं एंड वो अपनी जीप पे काले तिल दिखाते हैं क्या क्या नुआंस है क्या छोटे छोटे चीजें हैं उसके अंदर that really dwells in my imagination that's that's the kind of movie that i really uh, that's exactly my sort of film you know the mm-hmm. aesthetic that i believe in and that i'm trying trying to be a practitioner there's, of there's yeah. there's there's this beautiful beautiful scene in makbool where uh, uh like irfan khan is in love with tabu yes tabu is in love with uh, irfan khan at yes. least that is what they show yes and uh, pankaj kapoor uh, just says something about tabu yeah. and irfan and just Irfan uh, so and about Tabu and Irfan is working and he just looks up in anger yeah. at Pankaj Kapoor jitna gussa jitna anger jitna frustration uh, Irfan Khan sahab ne us ek look mein de diya sirf apni aankhon se bina kuch bole bina dialogue bina any body movement i think usse utna bhi gussa agar aaj ke log aaj ke actors चिल्ला के भी कर देना वो भी पॉसिबल है एब्सोल्युटली वो एक लुक इतनी कमाल की लुक है मकबूल पे तो बात करने बैठो तो हर एक फ्रेम हर, हर एक, एक फ्रेम पे हम दो घंटे की बात कर सकते हैं एंड एंड जैसे ही मैं कह रहा था कि जैसे कादर साहब हम हिंदी सिनेमा के मंटो हैं तो वैसे ही विशाल जी हिंदी सिनेमा के इसमत चुकता ही हैं हां 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 द पर्सन हु रियली एक्सप्लोर्स द गॉथिक गॉथिक द मकाब्र the the sort of poetic and 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 his writing is just it's chugtai and it's like mm-hmm. his writing is like something out of faiz ahmed faiz yeah you know uh, uh, and that there's a dialogue in makbool where uh, where pankaj ji basically sees irfan uh, bhai cooking the biryani and he says mm-hmm. ki agar main chahu to apna khud ka gosht dal deta tera biryani ha 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 what a line yeah what a line what a powerful powerful line I mean, that is that's a masterpiece that's one of the most important films for yeah. me and uh, but were you asking about my three favorite three films? favorite okay. films so if yeah. i was i'll pick i'll pick it in two categories one with my dad and one other stuff okay. so with my but dad it was jalwa tridev and albert pinto ko gussa kyu aata hai these are the these are the three yeah. films growing up that were very mm-hmm. important for me other than that in in hindi cinema uh, i would say uh, uh, mukaddar ka sikandar 
Okay, great. And, and, and Mr. Bachchan's performance in yeah. that is just extraordinary. Yeah, I mean, yeah, that, yeah. that scene where he says that, you know, I'm not a neta or a social worker, but if I've given some girls to my children, then I've given my brother. It's a beautiful scene. Yeah, yeah, yeah. writing and Mr. Bachchan's performance, great marriage of two artists, yeah. you know. And, and uh, that's before that song, Saath, uh, Tere Bina Bhi Kya Jeena starts off. <laughs> and and uh, then after that, so many films you know at that time srk's films uh, i was a huge fan of sanjay dat and sanjay dat exactly what we were talking about for my friends <laughs> was a very very important icon he hmm. was someone that especially for young uh, men in bombay yeah. there's something about him <laughs> where where he just resonates in a wholly different kind of way he speaks the language that all of us grew up speaking you yeah. know that that sort of he best exemplifies that bombaya spirit wo appeal hi alag hai appeal hi alag hai uh, uh, matlab the reason why people call him like sanju baba yeah. wo wo apna pan baba dal ke jo aa jata hai na like correct, correct, jo correct, aap correct, correct. jo pap videos aur ye sab bhi dekhte ho usme sare kitne pyar se unko baba baba idhar ek photo baba idhar ek photo correct, correct. and the reason the thing is ki संजू बाबा गाली भी देते हैं ना तो वो भी लोग मीठे पन के साथ लेते हैं <laughs> गुस्से से कोई नहीं लेता उस चीज को वो मीठे पन के साथ आ, उनकी गाली भी ले लेते no, in which they are playing a bombaya character hmm. the two people you should study are uh, mr sanjay dat and mr jacky shroff Aha. these two people should be your uh, role models and your sort of examples that you should study because no one speaks the bombaya dialect like these two actors and you have to have grown up in bombay and it, it had the life experiences that yeah. those two men have had to be able to speak that dialect so authentically and to really breathe that entire ethos and that atmosphere and know. so unapologetically yeah, absolutely on the biggest of platforms in the biggest of interviews yeah. they are like i blew a ye like they unko pretend hai hi nahi ki kuch wo kuch karne ka hi nahi hai is like अब वो एक शो आता था शायद यारों की बारात में आई आई डोंट नो इफ आई एम टेकिंग द रिमेंबर दैट शो या या सो वो एक शो आता था विद रितेश देशमुख एंड साजिद खान एंड उसमें जो एपिसोड वन वन ऑफ द वेरी फनी एपिसोड्स इज व्हेन एक्चुअली आई रिमेंबर बोथ द एपिसोड्स वन विद जैकी श्रॉफ एंड वन विद संजय दत्त विद संजय दत्त आई थिंक दे हैड अजय देवगन एंड अभिषेक बच्चन एंड विद जैकी श्रॉफ दे हैड सुनील शेट्टी and uh, sunil shetty actually enacted a few of uh, uh, jackie shroff's uh, real life incidents where he was so unapologetically jackie shroff interesting and uh, same is with the uh, uh, sanjay dat's episode where uh, ajay devgan and abhishek bachchan narrated and told like real life uh, sanjay dat incidents where he was also unapologetically sanjay dat where he's like uh, wahan pe ऑक्सीजन uh, नहीं था uh, सांस लेने के लिए पर संजू बाबा बिंग संजू बाबा वहां पे एक जगह ऑक्सीजन मार दूसरे में सुट्टा ऑक्सीजन मार सुट्टा क्योंकि सुट्टा जरूरी है ऑक्सीजन मार्स लगा लेंगे वो देख लिया जाएगा एंड 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 द द अदर टू फिल्म्स व्हिच आई वुड से मुकद्दर का सिकंदर इज वन दैट कम्स टू माइंड सलीम लंगड़े पे मत रो सईद मिर्जा मास्टरपीस व्हिच मी एंड माय ब्रदर इज आवर फेवरेट फिल्म एंड आल्सो सलाम बॉम्बे सलाम बॉम्बे and and that again again so they all bombay centric i guess i have a sort of particular sort of attachment to bombay mm-hmm. cinema but also interesting speaking of bombay cinema a movie of sanjay dat that had a strange impact on my demographic and age group and friends was <laughs> musafir and i'll tell you a very interesting uh. story about musafir i was kach kach billa ba oh. so no no this is i was is this 2005 i was in boarding school in dehradun mm-hmm. and just picture this you have and we used to have a saturday night movie mm-hmm. every so you used to, and this was the golden era of the sort of uh, horror thriller ha. raz ha. and all those movies ha. were coming ha. out right ashutosh uh, rana early 2000s yeah, yeah. the great ashutosh yeah. rana and, and all those crazy it was a very interesting era of mm-hmm. indian cinema very lurid and uh, there was a uh, one day we got musafir and kanti had already become a phenomenon yeah, yeah, in yeah, school yeah, people yeah. are c- quoting lines and mm-hmm. whatnot of kanti musafir played and it was insane because it was written by someone who was my neighbor milab zaveri i grew mm-hmm. up with him so mm-hmm. i know for a fact that milab zaveri also grew up speaking that same lingo that i grew up yeah. speaking in the same neighborhood mm-hmm. and that screenplay those dialogues were was all written in that type of bombaya vernacular ah, ha, 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 and ha. so when sanjeeta says that when mahesh manjrekar speaks that all these guys 
when they're talking in that lingo and the way it communicated with a bunch of young rowdy teenagers from Dehradun <laughs> they started sp- and uh, Dehradun matlab like pan india all over the country they yeah, come from yeah, yeah. but they were so besotted by and that fascinated by that bombay accent mm-hmm. and it was such a proud moment for me as a bombay guy ki these guys are like digging my uh, towns yeah, subculture lingo, lingo, language, lingo right culture, and it was, yes. it was a very interesting thing and people were quoting you had you had guys uh, north indian guys trying to speak in that bombay yeah, sanjay that kind of lingo throughout so it is a very and that's what also what made me realize that this bombay subculture is a very interesting thing mm-hmm. and and and, and th- because i had taken it for granted because i'd grown up in it yeah, yeah, but yeah. It, it it i didn't realize until much later that this is a very interesting subject Haan. for whatever form of art that hmm. one wants to practice with aur us pe likh dali kitab yes exactly 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 sahi hai na apna sabse strongest suit uthaya aur usko सबसे बेहतर सबसे बढ़िया तरीके से आउटपुट में exactly. डाल दिया आई आई रिमेम्बर दैट वो चाकू घुमाना बीइंग द सब लोग कर रहे थे मूवमेंट हो गया था वो exactly. कि ये करने का ही है एंड देन या एंड देन दैट सॉन्ग सिगरेट के धुएगा चल ही वाज अ मूवमेंट ही या एंड ही इज वन गाय संजय दत्त इज वन गाय जिसने पहले दिन से लेके आज तक अपना फैशन चेंज नहीं किया You will still see him in boot cuts yeah. with those pointed shoes yeah. and with that iconic walk of his. Exactly. Ah, uh, yeah. So like a movement, a movement. The last of the great strutters. Yeah. Yeah. Just the way he goes, he goes. Exactly. Ah, uh, iconic. Ah, uh, okay. Let's hmm. let's come to your a uh, Bollywood journey now. Yes. Ah, uh, in 2011. Yes. Saath Khun Maaf. Yes. The only. a husband to not have been killed yeah. by priyanka chopra <laughs> <laughs> and then in 2014 happy new year how yeah. how, how was it uh, working in these two films and how was uh, growing up watching sak's yeah. films and then finally being on set with him and you know sharing a space that was happy new year was like an intergalactic space voyage <laughs> it was like going uh, on a uh, discovery space shuttle into the outer reaches of the cosmos or something uh-huh. and coming back it was truly mind boggling uh, in the greatest way imaginable uh-huh. and it was a very special and very profound experience on me i mean if you ride in the same chariot as hercules it's going to have a very special effect on yeah, you yeah, and yeah. something which is difficult to sort of articulate even but uh, but sat khun maaf was a very very both of them were very beautiful and profound experiences but satkun maaf in special because you know that was truly it it again i i don't know how to quite articulate and describe the what an important experience and what a beautiful enjoyable mm. process that was of making that film how much i it was my first film mm-hmm. number 1 and uh, number 2 it was i was working with my favorite filmmaker of all time vishal bhardwaj yeah and with a magnificent cast mm-hmm. my father was also in that film yeah. but we didn't share any scenes together mm-hmm. but it was a truly uh, it was and at that time it was very ahead of its time that film yeah in yeah, 2011 yes. uh, those kinds of films weren't really being made yeah. you know now with the onset of ott you have slightly more experimental type uh, films which are a little more experimental in nature yeah. and sort of uh, boundary pushing they push the envelope or that one, boundary us time pe vishal bhardwaj sir he push he kar push sakte the exactly aur koi nahi kar sakta exactly yeah. exactly he's uh, a singular singular artistic voice there's yeah. no one else like him and also what so many things to have learned from that first year about the filmmaking process also about acting i had to uh, do an urdu voice over mm-hmm. so that was a very interesting process sort of refining yeah. my linguistic command uh, mm-hmm. the command of my own vocal sort of uh, acumen as it were and also well the, the the sort of aspect of it being your first movie and the friendships that you make in that yeah. it's like boarding school na jo mm-hmm. dost ban jate hain wahan pe wo zindagi bhar rahe hain wo ban jate hain ha jab bhi aap 20 saal baad bhi milonge unke wo waise hi rehte hain waise hi rehte hain you you'll, you'll just uh, start, continue from where you last left yeah. off you know so it's a, it's a, it was a very very profound and beautiful experience i get very nostalgic and emotional thinking of uh, sat khun maaf even but it was also very I knew while making that film what a revolutionary film this is yeah. the kind of stuff they were doing was mm-hmm. truly uh, unparalleled yeah. at that time you know they were trying to make john abraham play a heroin junkie ha. <laughs> so they had like this they had like a body double they were trying to morph his head on a basically scrawny looking guys wow. body they were doing some crazy, crazy wild stuff shit, yeah. imagine doing that with john abraham john that abraham time, yeah. right they were doing they were getting actors big stars and completely making them play against type yeah you know they were getting uh, people to uh, to 
to sort of play uh, characters which were very challenging and mm. and and dark and disturbing and 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 it was a very very brave courageous film yeah. you know and it's a film which has developed a cult following over the years and and it was really truly one of the most beautiful experiences of of my life and then after that happy new year was again you know both these uh, both poles these, about genres poles by about the way genre. yeah. yeah absolutely ha. and and also i learned a great deal about how different types of movies are made how they are mm-hmm. shot the cinematography the lighting how the sort of atmosphere in the set itself the logistical yeah. uh, sort of aspect of the filmmaking is very different when when uh, in both these two films because they both represent as you said uh, polar ends of of cinema mm. uh, right different poles of cinema so the both of them i mean and especially happy new year was a sort of really uh, intergalactic kind of experience yeah. it was truly something it was uh, basically in have spending time in a world with which i was completely alien i hmm. don't really come from the world of bollywood and ha, ha, that ha. kind of thing right uh, i come from the world of theater and parallel cinema yeah. so for me it was a completely alien landscape ekdam massive Ek film exactly uh, ban rahi thi the film itself and also the entire world of the film the promotions yeah. the entire going for all these big shows and functions and ceremonies and various you know whatever all those thingies it was truly mind boggling and uh, and it was a very very interesting experience and i i both those films you know satkul maaf and happy new year i will just be eternally grateful for uh, firstly for the filmmakers for putting mm-hmm. me in those films and mm-hmm. secondly for everybody involved in both those films for just treating for being so nice to me you know and ha, for really ha, ha. Uh, uh, sort of accepting me as as a member of their family it was truly heartwarming uh, till this date i can't stress enough how much how grateful i am to to everyone involved in both those films mm-hmm. my, yeah. my 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 mom actually when uh, so we went to watch satkur maaf in a theater yeah. and we were watching and then aapki uh, entry hui and then my mom was like यार नसीर का बेटा तो बहुत ही क्यूट है लाइक सच अ पंजाबी मदर थिंग टू से तो बड़ा क्यूट है यार ये देखना ये बड़ी क्यूट क्यूट रोल कर एंड देन लाइक देख तेरी उम्र क्या होगा ज्यादा बड़ा नहीं होगा वो देख कितना क्यूट सा है तुम देखो कहते क्रिकेट खेल खेल के तुमने खराब कर लिया है खुद को ये क्या बात कर रहे फुल वेंट क्योंकि आई थिंक सो माई फैमिली हैज बिन अ बिग बॉलीवुड वो ऐसा फॉलोअर्स ठीक है बहुत जबरदस्त एंड लाइक माई फैमिली इज अ मिक्स ऑफ कि उनको नसीर साहब का सिनेमा भी देखना है पर वहीं पे वो दूल्हे राजा भी देखते हैं रात को बैठ के ठीक है सो माय माय मॉम न्यू दैट नसीर साहब का बेटा जो है वो डेब्यू करने वाला है ठीक है एंड शी वाज वाचिंग एंड मेरे को साथ में एंड आई वांटेड टू बी एन एक्टर आई स्टिल वांट टू बी एन एक्टर एंड तो शी यूज टू लाइक फ्रॉम वेरी यंग एज यूज टू बी लाइक की धूप में मत जाओ नहीं तो फिर वो चोट लग जाएगी नहीं तो टैनिंग हो जाती है नहीं तो ये हो जाता है नहीं तो वो हो जाता है अपना ध्यान रखो ये क्लास जाओ वो क्लास जाओ ऐसा करो वैसा करो तो आई आई यूज टू बी वेरी यार अब मैं बारह साल का बच्चा मुझे क्रिकेट खेलना है यार मेरे को चोट लग रही है मेरे को पट्टियाँ बन रही हैं ये वॉट इज डू वॉन्ट डिसाइड दैट यू वॉन्ट टू बी एन यार आई सो माई डैड वॉज अ डायरेक्टर इन मुंबई ओके एंड माई मॉम वॉज अ मॉडल ओके द थिंग इज उन लोग ने शादी करी एंड आई डोंट नो वाई थॉट की चलो अब इंडस्ट्री छोड़ देनी चाहिए okay. और वो छोड़ के दिल्ली मतलब दे आर डेलीइट्स ओके दे वर वर्किंग हियर एंड देन दे गॉट मैरिड एंड देन दे वर लाइक ये सब छोड़ के वापस दिल्ली चले गए दिल्ली में आ गए एंड इंटरेस्टिंग दैट्स अ वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग या सो ये सब छोड़ के इधर सो मैं आई हैव ग्रोन अप विद दीस स्टोरीज ऑफ यू नो देयर स्टोरीज ऑफ की इंडस्ट्री में ये इंडस्ट्री में वो इंडस्ट्री में एंड सिंस देन आई हैड दिस फैसिनेशन कि यार मुझे भी यू नो यही करना है ठीक है एंड आई यूज टू टेल माई डैड कि ईदर डब्ल्यू डब्ल्यू रेसलर और एक्टर दैट्स इट सो ये चल रहा था मेरा एंड दैट्स वाई माई पेरेंट्स वर वेरी लाइक यू नो इन 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 दोज टाइम्स वेरी क्रिटिकल ऑफ तुम कैसे अपने आप को कंडक्ट करते हो माई डैड यूज टू टेल मी कि देख अगर ये ऑमलेट और ब्रेड खाना है तो ये फोक और नाइफ से खाना है ये ऐसे खाना है एटिकेट्स और दिस एंड दैट बिकॉज देवो देवो इन देयर माइंड देवो प्रिपेयरिंग मी फॉर द इंडस्ट्री इंटरेस्टिंग ठीक है तो एनी एनी डेब्यू यूज टू हैपन दूज टू टेक मी टू द सिनेमा एंड बी लाइक देखो ये इसका डेब्यू है देखो इसको ये आता है इसको वो आता है इनफैक्ट टिल दो वेन आई वॉज इन इलेवेंथ और ट्वेल्थ आई गेस वेन 
हीरो पंथी रिलीज एंड टाइगर श्रॉफ केम इन टू द सीन यू इन इलेवेंथ और ट्वेल्थ आई वॉज इन ट्वेल्थ यस सो दाउल यू नो आई एम ट्वेंटी सिक्स ओके ओके ठीक है सो दैट्स वाई लाइक आपको चौबीस में पता लगे इट वॉज माई लास्ट ईयर ऑफ स्कूल या सो माई डैड एंड माई मॉम टुक मी टू द फिल्म एंड दे लाइक watch yeah see oh man learn he is a shining yeah, example he, yeah he was like they, they, they were like dekho kaise apne apna physique maintain kiya hua hai look at the hard work yeah kaise hard work so any debut that used to happen Absolutely. it used to be a class for me and that's why that's, yeah, yeah and that's why they knew about uh, you debuting and uh, All the other debuts, they were yes. very like keeping track and telling me ऐसे करना वैसे करना वैसे करना ऐसे करना. Clearly, I have no abs, so मैंने नहीं हो जाएगा. वो कैसे मैंने Tiger Shroff वाली बात तो नहीं ही मानी अभी तक. But uh, yeah, so that's that's been uh, my uh, upbringing when it comes to Bollywood and how I was uh, being uh, schooled. Schooled. Yeah. कि कैसे industry में जाना है. Yeah. Uh, अच्छा लाइक अभी बॉलीवुड की तो कर ली बात हाँ. पर आपका नेक्स्ट कोई बॉलीवुड प्रोजेक्ट आने वाला है क्या जो हम हाँ. लोग एक स्नीक पिक दे दें फटाफट से लिस्नर्स को कई सारे आ रहे हैं एक्चुअली इस साल इट्स वन ऑफ रेयर प्रोडक्टिव यूज आई थिंक वेट दिस थिंग दिस There's one lovely show coming out on Voot, which is about doctors. Mm-hmm. Then there's uh, my father's short film, which is coming out, which is going to be an occasion of great joy okay. and celebration for us. Then there is uh, there's two new projects which I'm about to start, and uh, a very very special uh, momentous occasion mm-hmm. indeed is that I'm mm-hmm. uh, reuniting with Mr. Vishal Bhardwaj wow. after twelve years. Yeah, this wow. this lovely show has just yeah. been announced. It's called Charlie Chopra. In fact, I was just shooting mm-hmm. for Manali f- uh, for that only a couple of days ago. Just got back, and it's called Charlie Chopra. It's an Agatha Christie adaptation. Oh, and yeah, it's a it's a beautiful beautiful show. Yeah, it's a very nice, interesting. Nice. And and guess what? Our whole family is in it. All five of us. Are wow. Here. Yeah. Great. And it's the Amazing. first time. The first time all five of us yeah, are really yeah, acting yeah. in something together. And and it's a really really I can't uh, describe to you what a special beautiful moment and a profound important ha. significant mm-hmm. moment it is for all of us. You know. I I actually follow a lot of your father's work. And yeah. uh, what happened was when I came to Mumbai and I was interviewing for a job. Yeah. Uh, they were hiring me as a writer. एंड सो ही वॉज लाइक आपने कोई आपने रिसेंटली कौन सी शॉर्ट फिल्म देखी एंड आई हैड रिसेंटली वेंट ऑन दिस रॉयल स्टैग लार्ज शॉर्ट फिल्म प्री आई वॉज लाइक मैं सब देख डालूंगा इनके यूट्यूब चैनल पर जो भी है तो इनफैक्ट वो इंटरव्यू से पिछली रात पे मैं रोगन जोश देख रहा था ओह लवली फिल्म ठीक है एंड मैं देख रहा था एंड मैंने uh, उससे जस्ट पहले वो वाली देखी थी नाइट इन द कैफे जिसमें वो दो पैरल्स ड्रॉ करते हैं यंग कपल एंड नसीर साहब एंड एन ओल्ड कपल इंटीरियर कैफे दैट फिल्म एंड ये सब बात मैं देख ही रहा था एंड नेक्स्ट जूनागढ़ दिस वन आई है एंड uh, उससे पहले मैंने फिल्म देखी थी द हंगरी द हंगर है ना ठीक है एंड वो देखा एंड द थिंग इज मैंने वो रीस लॉकडाउन के जस्ट बाद में इंटरव्यू दे रहा था और मैं लॉकडाउन में यही सब कर रहा था अच्छा। यही सब चीजें देख रहा था एंड आई टॉक्स टू द इंटरव्यूअर एंड मैंने ये सारे नाम ले दिए ओके okay. उसने कुछ नहीं देखा हुआ था इसमें से एंड देन आई वॉज लाइक ब्रो तू मुझे क्यों इंटरव्यू कर रहा है एट दिस पॉइंट क्लियरली जो शॉर्ट फिल्म्स में देख रहा हूँ जो फिल्म्स में देख रहा हूँ वो तुमने नहीं देखी है एंड <laughs> क्लियरली ये ऐसा पीस ऑफ सिनेमा है जो एज अ राइटर तुमको देखा होना चाहिए था ठीक है एंड इफ इफ यू आर सिटिंग एयर एंड क्वेश्चनिंग वी ऑन दिस ब्रो मैं तुम्हें लिंक्स भेजूंगा ठीक है तुम देखना है इनको एंड देन वील टॉक अबाउट इट बट या दैट वॉज जैसे आपने शॉर्ट फिल्म बोला तो मुझे एकदम से वो इंसिडेंट याद आ गया And uh, uh, all the best for the Vishal Bhardwaj project. You, आपने ये so बता के कि पांचों आप उसमें हो uh, मुझे तो एकदम फुल्ली एक्साइट कर दिया ऑल्सो टॉकिंग अबाउट योर एंटायर फैमिली बींग ऑन स्टेज और बींग ऑन कैमरा फॉर द फर्स्ट टाइम आर वी गोन सी यू इन एनी ऑफ मोटलेज वी है एब्सोल्यूटली एंड इन फैक्ट यू नो वी डिड अ प्ले इन टू थाउजेंड एंड सिक्सटीन कॉल राइडिंग राइडिंग मैडली ऑफ इन ऑल डिरेक्शन ऑल फाइव ऑफ वर्स इन दैट प्ले उसका ऑल फाइव दोबारा री रन होगा दोबारा शायद नहीं होगा वो 2016 और 17 में किया था होपफुली इंशाल्लाह हम रिवाइव करेंगे उसे बड़ा मजा आएगा दैट वुड बी ग्रेट यार ऑल सिक्स ऑल फाइव ऑफ द अंदर एग्जैक्टली या अभी मैं औरत 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 देखने गया था एंड व्हाट एन एक्सपीरियंस यार व्हाट एन लाइक 
एज आई सेट मुझे वेरी मूविंग प्ले कितनी भी बार मैं एक प्ले देख लू मतलब एज इन मतलब वॉट आई मीन टू से जब भी मोटले का कोई भी प्ले होता है इफ आई एम एबल टू ग्रैब अ टिकट चाहे वो प्ले मैंने जितनी भी बार देखा हो आई मेक इट अ पॉइंट दैट वेन एवर मोटले इज प्लेइंग आई गो टू पृथ्वी और वेर एवर दे आर प्लेइंग एंड आई वॉच इट बिकॉज इट्स ऑलवेज सो ब्यूटिफुल एंड लाइक ऐसा भी नहीं कि अगर उन्होंने कोई इम्प्रोवाइजेशन नहीं भी कितनी बारी तो इम्प्रोवाइजेशन इतना प्यारा होता है इन द मोमेंट होता है विच इज़ लाइक वन ऑफ द वेरी बिग फैक्टर्स ऑफ बींग अ थिएटर आर्टिस्ट दैट तुम इन द मोमेंट इतना प्यारा इम्प्रोवाइजेशन कर देते हो दैट और वो उसी मोमेंट का है उसी ऑडियंस का है वो चीज़ कभी दोबारा उस तरीके से नहीं हो पाएगी एंड हाँ अगर आप उस जगह पर हो तो आपने उसको उसकी ट्रूएस्ट फॉर्म में देख लिया एंड दैट इज़ वाई आई मेक इट अ पॉइंट कि मैं कभी भी जाऊँ तो मैं ज़रूर ज़रूर देख पाऊँ तो मैं ज़रूर देखूँ होपफुली वो प्ले आप रिवाइव करोगे और मैं ज़रूर ज़रूर देखूँगा एंड कमिंग टू द लास्ट सेक्शन ऑफ शॉर्ट्स वॉट आर यू वॉचिंग दीज डेज एंड इसके बाद जो आप बता दो कि आप ऐसा जो पाँच छः चीज़ें देख रहे हो फिर उसके बाद हम एक छोटा सा ब्रेक लेंगे okay. uh, फिर उसके बाद हम अपनी ऑडियंस को रिकमेंड करेंगे कि uh, क्या कि आप लोग को क्या देखना चाहिए जो विवान ने देख लिया और वो बता देगा कि ये बहुत अच्छा है आप लोग ने नहीं देखा तो देख लो तो उससे पहले आप बस ये बता दो कि अभी आप चार पांच चीजें क्या देख रहे हो साथ में मैं एक बहुत ही एक स्कैंडलस कन्फेशन है लेकिन मैं नई चीज़ें ज़्यादातर नहीं देखता हूँ अनफॉर्चुनेटली ये एक बिकॉज मैं जैसे मैं कह रहा था कि मुझे सबसे पहले तो एक हिस्टोरियन बनना था <laughs> तो अनफॉर्चुनेटली मैं ज़्यादा सॉर्ट ऑफ आई गेस आर्टिस्टिकली स्पीकिंग थोड़ा सा my diet is uh, comprised essentially of many things from the past mm-hmm. that is a failing of mine which i need to correct it's not a good thing it's generally i something that i'm trying to make more of an effort to uh, to 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 sort of be more up to speed up to date on thing on 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 various shows films books i have started reading a lot of more contemporary fiction though i'm currently really enjoying uh, nilanjana R- R- s roy's book black river it's a fascinating book it's a delhi yeah. noir procedural beautiful beautiful moving book uh, i'm this thing also reading ankush sekia's new book uh, tears of a dragon and uh, anchal malhotra's in the language of remembrance then so many you know uh, apu pen the great uh, graphic novelist his uh, book uh, the legends of hal hala graphic novel and as far as shows and films you know that's what i don't watch shows and uh, stuff like that i watch a lot of old things and nowadays especially because of the internet and i also still you know surprisingly i'm one of those last people that still watches dvd i still oh, watch yeah nice <laughs> there's a there's a great video rental shout out to sarvodya uh, <laughs> this thing there's a great video rental library called sarvodya which i have been frequenting since i was a kid and which is literally like been my film school practically mm-hmm. they have a phenomenal collection they have everything from i mean you name it they have like kahan pe hai ye ambedkar road pe ग्रेट या या जिनके पास भी अभी तक डीवीडी प्लेयर है प्लीज आई मीन प्लीज गो एंड चेक दैट आउट इट्स इट्स ट्रूली ट्रूली द एक्सपीरियंस ऑफ वाचिंग डीवीडीज इज समथिंग एल्स ओनली एंड लाइक आई आल्सो ओन अ कपल ऑफ वीएचएस एंड आई गेट देम ट्रांसफर अ वन वीएचएस एक्चुअली आई एम एग्जैजरेटिंग ओनली वन व्हिच आई गेट आई गॉट आई ऑर्डर्ड फ्रॉम Amazon because that film is not available on DVD only and I got it transferred by Sarvodya so I do all these kinds of things you know and like but that's the thing is that I'm more interested in older uh, ha, films ha, older films or shows yeah. mein aap recently kya dekh rahe ho so older films or shows mein recently मैं बहुत सारे आ, बहुत सारे वेस्टर्न्स देखते रहता हूँ स्पगेटी वेस्टर्न्स खास करके जो जो यू नो दर्जियो कॉर्बूची जो सर्जियो लियोन तो हम सब जानते हैं जो क्लिंट स्टूड की जो ट्रिलजी थी लेकिन सर्जियो कॉर्बूची भी बहुत एक अनोखे शख्स थे जो बहुत ही यूज टू मी ही मेड जेंगो विच इज द फिल्म दैट टैरेंटिनो वॉज पेंग ओमाज टू एंड ही वॉज अ वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग फिल्म मेकर सर्जियो कॉर्बूची देन देन ऑल्सो अ लॉर्ड ऑफ especially with regard to the book i uh, the filmmaker john carpenter who is a horror and sci-fi filmmaker a lot of his films then sam peckinpah is one of my favorite filmmakers so i've been rewatching a lot of his stuff westerns and he was also one of the first filmmakers that also brought a kind of violence to cinema mm. before that we hadn't seen that level of violence before sam peckinpah's films and uh, he actually used to his violence was very almost balletic he was the first person that revolutionized the use of slow motion in mm. films you know he was uh, so many uh, so many filmmakers like that don siegel then i'm a huge fan of the filmmakers the farelli brothers 
who they're my favorite filmmakers and I re- keep watching their films again and again whenever I'm feeling a little low they really cheer me up they made all those Jim Carrey comedies in the 90s yeah. they also made a lot of those screwball like outrageous uh, sort of gross out comedies ha, 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 ha. like there's something about Mary mm-hmm. Dumb and Dumber Kingpin Dumb and Dumber, Me, Myself yeah. and Irene <laughs> all those films so I keep re- revisiting those and uh, I recently watched a very crazy uh, new documentary on Woodstock 99 which is the mm-hmm. concert Woodstock which was in 1999 and which mm-hmm. turned out to be a complete disaster Achha. I watched the HBO documentary on that not the Netflix one the HBO one uh, and that was a truly fascinating time capsule of that entire era mm. of music that we grew up on that heavy metal mm-hmm, mm-hmm. corn limb biscuit yeah, yeah, yeah. the aggression in popular culture at wow. that time how many times I have heard corn how many times that documentary you see it's a very interesting uh, documentary where is it 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 but it's a crazy documentary because it's an interesting time capsule of the late 90s hmm. Mm-hmm. and of the aggression and nihilism yeah. in that culture you know at that time and how that became into a complete disaster that's a film that i saw recently that it's a new film mm-hmm. but that's a new film which really affected me but again <laughs> it's about the past <laughs> so I, guys i'm sorry i need to be a little more up to date on the stuff that's coming out but it's it's almost like you know like some people are interested in painting oil painting and some people are interested in watercolor yeah, some people yeah, are yeah. interested in bronze statues again. some people are interested you in clay. do you so guys. it's a matter of taste it's a matter <laughs> yeah. of taste and diet but i do realize that there's something potentially one can there's something reactionary about only dwelling too much in the past and i do not want to be that way so i am very very uh, sort of uh, cognizant of this uh, failing in me and this shortcoming that i need to be more uh, up to date on current uh, cinema shows uh, books books have started and but shows and films i need to get into more because the thing is it's the historians uh, yeah. i suppose habit you know it's, hmm. it's the historians habit of dwelling too much in the past but i, I need to correct that because that is, i don't want to be that old uh, man on the porch saying mere time mein sa mere zamane picture hai to hamare zamane mein hote the masterpieces bante the abhi to ye no no i don't want to be like that at all because that's a very reactionary sort of mindset hmm. and, and i don't believe in that so i am going to make a conscious effort okay chal to how about uh, resolution new year 2020 yeah yeah Resolution is to watch more uh, current, uh, more more contemporary uh, shows and films. Great. तो हम रिकमेंडेशन राउंड की जगह ऐसा करते हैं कि आप हमें कमेंट्स में बताओ कि आ, विवान को क्या देखना चाहिए <laughs> विवान ने क्या oh, क्या nice, क्या nice, 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 विवान nice. तो क्या क्या देख रहा है वो तो आ, उन्होंने आपको बता दिया <laughs> अब आप विवान को बताओ कि उनको क्या क्या देखना चाहिए क्योंकि क्लियरली एज ही सेज आप लोग ज्यादा अप टू डेट हो गए विद द कॉन्टेंट दैट इज फ्लोटिंग ऑन द इंटरनेट एंड मैं तो यार बताते ही रहता हूँ क्या देखना है क्या नहीं देखना अब मेरा रिकमेंडेशन इस एपिसोड के लिए है ये किताब ठीक है ये ही क्योंकि जो प्लॉट आपने बताया ना विवान क्या ही प्लॉट है मैं एकदम ही इंट्रीग हो गया हूँ प्लॉट से और अब हम बहुत खूबसूरत सी चीज करने वाले जो होगी गिव अवे जो पॉपरा पे पहली बार हो रहा है एंड इनशाला uh, आगे होता रहेगा बिल्कुल uh, आपकी और भी बहुत किताबें आएंगी यार क्या खूबसूरत लगता है ऐसा किताब के पहले पन्ने पे नाम लिखा वाह 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 ठीक है तो इस पे विवान शाह जो है अपना साइन करेंगे एंड yes. हम एक कॉन्टेस्ट रखेंगे आ, या हम आपसे कुछ सवाल पूछेंगे या कुछ भी वो हम डिसाइड करेंगे आ, और उसमें जो भी अव्वल आएगा hmm. उसको ये किताब भेजी जाएगी आ, चाहे अगर आप मुंबई के आसपास के हो तो स्टूडियो बुला के मुंबई के बाहर के हो तो आपको पोस्ट कर दी जाएगी पर विवान शाह की साइंड कॉपी उनकी रीसेंट बुक की उस शख्सियत को मिल जाएगी एंड अब ऑन कैमरा हम लोग क्या करने वाले हैं विवान शाह से सिग्नेचर लेने वाले हैं विवान लव ऑल योर्स आई एम ऑल्सो गोइंग टू राइट अ लिटल नोट ग्रेट टू दी इमेजनरी टू दू दोस्पेक्टिव रीडर सो इट सेज फॉर the reader happy climbing <laughs> hope you enjoy the expedition kitab jo hai sign ho gayi hai मैं कैमरा में दिखा देता हूँ ठीक है ये देखो ये री <laughs> ये ये कर दिया गया है साइन और आ, मिल जाएगा आ, जो भी वो कॉन्टेस्ट या वो जो भी होगा वो जीतेगा एंड थैंक यू सो मच थैंक यू सो मच फॉर दिस एपिसोड फॉर टेकिंग आउट टाइम थैंक यू फॉर मी सच अ प्लेजर टू टॉक टू यू यार जितना नॉलेज का भंडार आप में है ना 
मैं आपसे ना आपका नंबर ले लूंगा भाई <laughs> और मैं आपसे पूछता रहूंगा कि विवान ये देख लिया मैंने अब मुझे होता मुझे और क्या देखना चाहिए और नेक्स्ट टाइम जब आपको मैं एपिसोड पे बुलाऊंगा तो फिर हम ऐसा टक्कर की बातें करें टक्कर एकदम एक दो एक दो रिकमेंडेशन में दे देता हूँ फिल्मों की हाँ, तो आप लोगों को दरिया दिल देखनी चाहिए course, वो आपको यूट्यूब पे पूरी मिल जाएगी वन जीरो एट जीरो पी एच टी रेजोल्यूशन ब्लू रे प्रिंट पे फिर आपको देखनी चाहिए एक फिल्म अव्वल नंबर करके देवानंद साहब की वो बहुत ही दिलचस्प किस्म की फिल्म है वो आप देखिएगा Another film which I saw during lockdown, which is one of those uh, Gaty Galaxy era films of my <laughs> childhood, ado- early adolescence, which I saw on Blu-ray. Because now you know, funny thing is they've been restoring a lot of those old yeah. films, two thousands mm-hmm. on Blu-ray. Mm-hmm. So a film which I saw, Darna Mana hai, oh, ho, which ho. is which is uh, I I loved it when I watched <laughs> it as a kid, but I saw it again and <laughs> I came to the realization that it is the greatest horror film Indian cinema has ever produced, <laughs> hands down. It is the most meaningful <laughs> horror film, and it's the most interesting. a uh, sort of uh, idiosyncratic brilliantly made by Praval Raman and extraordinary performances by the mm. cast great cast everybody's acting mm. so well you got to check out uh, these three films on the top of my head uh, i can recommend that these are something isi isi era se main bolta hu swarg dekh lo aisa swarg kaun si kaun si picture hai swarg rajesh khanna sahab aur govinda okay maine nahi dekhi uska plot wahi hai like the cliches where govinda is playing the good one yeah. uh, so rajesh khanna sahab hain unke do chote bhai hain jo तो जब राजेश खन्ना साहब बहुत तो अमीर वेल टू डू होते हैं तब वो भैया 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 करते हैं एंड देन व्हेन ही गोज थ्रू अ रफ पैच तो वो आ, उनको छोड़ के अपना आ, अपने आप को बचा के निकल जाते हैं बेसिकली एंड देन राजेश खन्ना साहब जो हैं उनकी जो आ, उनके साथ में जूही चावला भी हैं वो उनको ले के राजेश खन्ना साहब की वाइफ की डेथ हो जाती है आ, फिल्म में और वो जूही चावला को लेके अपने एक छोटे से कुटिया में रहने लग जाते हैं एंड फॉर सम रीज़न मतलब मैं बताना नहीं चाहता वो रीज़न क्या है इसलिए फॉर 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 अ रीज़न वो गोविंदा को वहाँ से भेज देते हैं बिकॉज गोविंदा स्टैंड विद दैम थ्रू देयर रफ पैच तो ही रियलाइज कि यू नो अगर मैं इसको अपने साथ रखूँगा तो इसको ये जो मेरे भाई हैं इसको यू नो फ्रेम करते रहेंगे बुरा बोलते रहेंगे वगैरह 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 टू विच गोविंदा गोज़ टू मुंबई कम्स टू मुंबई एंड वहाँ पर वो फिल्म में सर्व करते रहे ड्रिंक्स सेलिब्रिटीज और क्रू को एंड दे है दे वो हंस देते हैं एक एक्टर पे एंड द डायरेक्टर गेट्स वेरी फ्रस्ट्रेट इज लाइक तू इस पर हंस रहा है अगर तेरे को लगता है इतना एहसान है तो तू करके दिखाना एंड वो कैमरा पे जाते हैं और वो कर देते हैं और वो इतना अच्छा लगता है कि देन ही बिकम्स द स्टार ऑफ द फिल्म एंड दिस इज वेयर वो चढ़ जाते हैं एज अ सेलिब्रिटी मूवी सेलिब्रिटी इन द फिल्म एंड देन ही गेट्स टू नो कि राजेश खन्ना साहब जो हैं वो इस रफ पैच से गुजर रहे हैं तो वापस उनके पास जाते हैं उनको उस चीज़ से निकालते हैं और दिस इज दायर इट्स 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 अ फन वॉच इट्स इट्स अ ग्रेट वॉच एक्चुअली आई रियली लव द फिल्म मतलब देर वॉज अ टाइम जब आई थिंक जी सिनेमा पे ये पिक्चर सीवीओ हर तीसरे यार सीवीओ तो कमाल था सीवीओ <laughs> बहुत बढ़िया सीवीओ पे ना एक और फनी किस्सा है ये कि सीवीओ में एक फिल्म देखी थी मैंने खूनी ड्रैक्यूला करके रात के डेढ़ बजे रात को और उसमें वो जब जब एडवर्टाइजमेंट्स आते हैं ना बीच में चली वॉट प्रोग्राम संडे स्पेशल इट्स एट बॉलीवुड बिलीव इट ऑन खूनी ड्रैक्यूला बट बट ऑन सीरियस नॉट टू मोर लास्ट रिकमेंडेशन वन इज साइद मिर्जा ब्यूटिफुल फिल्म नसीम विच इज ऑन मूवी एंड ऑल्सो फिल्म कॉल्ड हवा एन ए दे विच इज ऑन ऑल्सो ऑन मूवी शो चेक आउट दिस फिल्म दे आर रियली इंटरेस्ट and beautiful films aur agar kisi ke paas movie ka subscription aur mere sath share karna chahta hai to mera instagram handle jo hai there and vivan again thank you so much thank you so much for being here and uh, stay tuned for the giveaway and uh, buy this book on uh, what platform amazon or at your local bookstore kahin pe mil jayegi hard cover mein lene ka apne ko photos bhejne ka story pe dalne ka vivan ko tag karne ka pop rap ko tag karne ka mere ko tag karne ka ivm podcast ko tag karne ka we'll see you lovely uh in the next episode next week because that's what we do stay tuned bye bye bye